July 10th, Monday, 440 Mountain Time, 2017. Quick look at some worldwide weather, and it's a little on the wild side today. I've got some amazing pictures and some just incredible weather phenomena going on around the globe. The first wildfires, and this map um, leaves out a very important part. I don't know why it doesn't have uh, Canada in here, but there are many wildfires burning in Canada. So many British Columbia has declared a state of emergency, and here's proof as why. You can see it on Null School. Look at the size of those right there. And let's look at the 4,500 parts per billion. Um, and that's carbon monoxide. Look at that. 3,200, 5,154 parts per billion. That's very thick. You can see it stretching all the way down the western side of the United States, down into, this is the big one down here around uh, Santa Barbara. That is a very big fire. There's another one here in the upper U.S. It goes clear up into Alaska. And most of those, if you look at this map, are not contained. Let's see if we could even find them. I just looked at a couple before I fired up the video. Yeah, 0% contained. Just click one here. 23,000 acres burned, 0% contained. So there's a lot going on with respect to wildfires, not only in America, but around the world. Uh, but first, let's start in Calgary. In 2014, a enormous hailstorm caused 450 million in uh, insured damage, and the hail was the size of golf balls. Well, this has happened again over the weekend. I'd like to thank Ken for sending me this story. Um, over the weekend, hail the size of tennis balls fell in the same area, Airdrie. And here's a quick video of some of the damage. This is the hailstorm hitting Airdrie late this afternoon. It started as hard rain, then came the hail from Bottrell to Balzac and Airdrie. And when it hit, everyone posted their photos to prove just how bad the storm was. Tennis ball-sized hail. Hello, and thank you for joining us. As fast as it came, it left again. A quick but damaging summer storm hammering several communities. Brad McLeod is live near Cross Iron Mills near Balzac tonight, assessing the aftermath. Brad, what can you show us? Yeah, that's right. As you can see, it's uh, quite windy right now. But here, I'll show you something. These are a couple hours old, so it kind of gives you a little bit of perspective that these have been melting for quite a while and what the size of this hail actually was. So I'm going to show you another thing. People were just helpless here. Uh, we're at a gas station. Look at this car. Side window smashed in. People were inside this. They were trying to escape it. They were looking around for cover. They tried to get some cover over underneath the gas shelter over there. You can see uh, the car too. Right here, you can see dents all across the back. The back window of this car is completely shattered, and there's a baby seat back there in the back. Everybody was okay. There was a young lady that was sitting back here that did uh, take one of those um, tennis ball size hailstones to the back of the head. But she is okay. Um, another incredible situation. This is over in Vienna, Austria. This was posted an hour ago at severe weather Europe. That, I would say, that's a, at least tennis ball size, if not bigger, closer to softball size hail in Vienna, Austria. Wildfires burning in uh, Italy. Tornado formed near Austria. That was part of that these hailstones that I just showed you in Vienna, Austria. We've got a heat wave coming. I'd like to thank Elliot for sending me this story. Southern Spain is supposed to experience something quite extraordinary here in a couple days. They're supposed to experience temperatures near 46 degrees Celsius, which is, I think, 114 degrees. Some models, if you look at this model here, they're saying that some of the temperatures across southern Portugal and southern Spain could reach anywhere from 48 to 50 degrees Celsius, which converted, that's... Oh, wow, that's nearly 118, 122 degrees. So we'll have to wait and see. That's slated for the 13th, uh, Thursday, later on this week. So we'll definitely be watching southern Spain for that. 
a uh, large tornado near Vienna Airport. This is just nuts. Look at this thing. People were sitting on an airplane taking photos of a tornado that's, uh, that's coming at them. Nobody was hurt. I think this thing just kind of hovered around out there. But still, I've got another one to show you from over here in the United States. Here's some pictures of it. I'll post a link to all of these videos if you'd like to come watch them. They're pretty interesting. Um, let's see. What else do I have? I showed you the carbon monoxide, the large tornadoes in Vienna. Trust me, I've got more hailstorm in Calgary. Severe weather Europe, looking at record-setting temperatures in southern Spain and Portugal. Just so you know, those temperatures are the equivalent to the Sahara Desert, which is south. So it's almost like Spain has tipped south into the Sahara temporarily, uh, soaking up some of that 120 degree heat. At least that's what it looks like on the map. We'll see if it happens. I don't know, but that's what they're predicting right now. Uh, massive hailstorm in Calgary that probably did close to a half a billion in damage. Don't know yet. Here's the record temps for potential uh, sweltering heat on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. This is from the United States today, and here's the weather map at the time of this event. This is a massive shelf cloud that was over uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and northern Iowa. This photo was taken from northern Iowa, and you can see it's got some weird uh, attachment to the top of the shelf cloud. You don't normally see that. It's actually kind of rare. Here's the big shelf cloud, or it's a uh, Reminiscent of a big mothership floating in the sky, and here it is. That is a very, very impressive photo. Here's another impressive photo. This is from the East Coast, North Carolina. I'll post the link to all these photos, their weather uh, links on Twitter. And this is a, a huge water spout. Nobody was hurt. Off the shore, right here. This is the storm of North Carolina today. This is Go 16, by the way. Uh, very, very fine instrument. Um, and this is in the infrared. This is the storm. This is the time of this twister we're seeing right out here off the coast of North Carolina. Incredible uh, photo. Link will be in the description box. Link in the description box for this one as well. That's over the central United States, Iowa. Huge sh shelf cloud. And I'm not sure of the storm damage. If there was any, I think it was in southern Minnesota. Probably a uh, big hail. I'm sure this had some rain and wind associated with it. But look, it almost matches what you see here on the, the, the map. And this is again GO-16. That's a, a wonderful instrument. This is in the infrared. It's got visible. Um, you can watch hurricanes with it. I really enjoy it. Um, it's still in the experimental stages, but it's doing an excellent job and it matched that up perfectly. So that's the uh, climate chaos for today, guys. Um, this video will be uploaded to Climate Chaos. It's a digital diary of wild weather from around the globe. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.